Yeah, bitch, yeah, bitch, call me Sister Turkey. So this is a track review of 2014 Flyover Volcano, and I'm pretty sure everybody has seen this track, but I wanted to make sure I went back in here and did some reviews on some of those more old-school tracks that I skipped over for whatever reason, and me being the fucking tropical genius that I am, I can't believe I would skip over this track, but I'm finally getting back to reviewing it here, and I'll probably be reviewing some more old-school style tracks and stuff here in the near future, and I think it's cool to get kind of a mixture of newer tracks and older tracks. You know, you see some channels out there and like all they're doing is reviewing what came out yesterday. And it's like, ugh, I don't know. I mean, that's cool too, but it's like, I love to throw in definitely some old school tracks and some tracks from like two or three years ago and then have some newer tracks. I think it's cool to get a, a wider pool and always keep in mind when those certain tracks were made so that you're giving a, a fair review of it in that sense. But yeah, some people probably think that I got a lot of my inspiration for my custom tracks from this track right here. Like they may think that, oh, I seen this track and was like, hey, you know, this is... Uh, a really cool Hawaii track. Let me go make some of those tracks or whatever, but that's actually not how it went at all um, I was making this shit is crazy dog. I was making custom tracks in the demo of MX Simulator. <laughs> like, people do not understand that at all. I was making custom tracks before I even had the full game of MX Simulator. So, I really didn't take any inspiration from any other custom tracks in this game. All of my inspiration was already in my mind before I ever started building custom tracks in MX Simulator. Like, the space tracks and all that stuff, I already had that idea in my head for custom tracks and then MX Simulator just kind of gave me that that opportunity and that avenue to build it you know what I mean so anyways let me get to the actual track here so if you notice it has this sort of cartoony kind of feel all the way around the track whereas my Hawaii vibe tracks were more of like if you let's just say you actually went to Hawaii and built a real life track on it and I was kind of replicating that so it was more of a hyper realistic kind of tropical tracks whereas this is like a a cartoony I don't even know how to really explain that but um, very cool what he's done whenever I say cartoony I don't mean negative in any way shape form or fashion because it, it does have a really cool unique kind of feel to it like most of the time I say you know oh you need to have these super realistic ground decals and whatnot but this track right here is actually an exception to that because Every other part of the track is got a more of a simplistic cartoony kind of feel to it. So, you know, the on track being more of a Play-Doh looking kind of decal actually matches the track perfectly. So, uh, got the going up the volcano, bro. About to singe my nutsack flying over this bitch. But <laughs> definitely amazing theme around the track. I mean, what else can I say about it, bro? Like just awesome and he's done some kind of super custom uh, I mean I don't even know how you really would make this an MX simulator like I've definitely had some workarounds for the different sort of oceans in the distance and stuff like that with some of my custom tracks but he's done it like perfect here I don't really know um, you can see out there there's no split between the skybox and the water off of the track I, I, I don't know if he's just perfectly got the colors out there um, where it just kind of like molds in just right or what he did but it's seamless like there you can't tell the the separation between the edge of the track and the skybox he's done that a hundred and ten percent perfectly so um, now the on track like as far as not on the actual volcano part I mean yeah it is a little on the basic side um, but that this track is not meant to be a super realistic track it's meant to just be a just for fun mess around um, and it's it's got a little bit of roughness on the track so don't get too peppy and uh it's very easy to hop on this track and just think it's totally smooth just by the kind of the nature of the track and the way everything looks but it does actually have some roughness so you don't want to get too giddy and just hammer the throttle or you'll flip right over the bike so uh just be prepared for that but it's basically just a bunch of doubles i mean that's really all the track is and it's got a couple of sand sections where it kind of goes off to the ocean side but you don't have any like 
a, a lot of variation in the jumps. You don't have any really super long roller sections or anything like that. So it is pretty basic in that sense, but I'm still giving the track a 10 overall. I think just everything combined makes it really fun. And uh, it's, it's almost like this like trial in a sense where it's not it's not even really like a motocross track to me it's almost more like a like a you know how the hawaii where they like run over the hot rocks and all that shit that's kind of more like what it is to me so it's it, it's almost more like a run than it is a like a lap track if anybody's following me at all so it makes sense to me that you know, the rest of the off-track doesn't have this super motocross, realistic, like, ruddy, um, you know, corner here and have all these unique different jumps. It, it makes sense to me that it's not that way, but I, I may be the only person that thinks that. I don't know, but um, you'll definitely find some sections where it's like super super flat and you find yourself having to slow down a ton just to get the bike angled properly um and and a part of me is like oh well he could have added some ruts here or just at least a berm or something uh but at the same time like i'm saying it's not even meant to be that so it's hard to judge it like that but um yeah awesome palm trees awesome the way he did the lava coming off of the volcano here um done all that basically to perfection and um yeah man the the volcano jump itself is actually not that big of a gap i know it can definitely seem like that a little bit when you're going up the 300 foot mount everest uphill jump right here but it's actually not that bad i'm pretty sure you could do it on a 125 you might lose a little bit of your if you go up this long of a uphill on a two stroke any guys that know this game would know that like two strokes they lose all their power when you when you're bogging them you know you're like bogging them out on an uphill or something that's why a four stroke just pulls so much better in this game on those weird made um unrealistic jumps and stuff let me see if i can get a cool little view of this thing let's see if we can get a cool shot of this little puppy so okay let's get back so like this so yeah man um don't you guys can probably barely see my little speck on youtube but let's see oh it's okay yeah i can view it better from this side man that's just it's like so big in scale um the volcano itself i really like how he did that you know he didn't he didn't make a little shitty volcano that doesn't look that good like it's it's monster it's pretty hardcore size so um but i mean you can just see the cartoony look to everything and and that may kind of turn some people off but i think it's just it's it's the nature of the track like it, it fits the track well um in my opinion but that's just me so um got a couple little grass billboards and areas you know but um other areas not so it um it, it just it has this like cartoony um, I don't even know how to explain that, but it, I think it's awesome how he's done that because you don't see a lot of tracks with this kind of vibe because everybody's going for super realistic. Let me make this like a replica track, you know, and, and I'm definitely guilty of doing that, but it's just cool to see a different overall theme, not just in the tropical sense, but in the cartoony sense as well. Um, and I think it's cool when people do like, you know, 90s retro graphical um kind of looking tracks um i've definitely made a couple of those uh but i always thought that was kind of a cool theme as well uh yeah anyways i would say like i said 10 overall i don't know how you could give it any less than that and um difficulty is probably medium uh that just for the sense of the volcano jump i mean you got to at least be wide open from the bottom to the top um on a like if you're a amateur or you're on a smaller bike or something like that you're gonna have to hit it pretty hard and some of these corners can be tricky i guess just because the roughness is a little bit hard to see with the cartoony kind of uh decals and stuff but um overall amazing track i mean what else can you say about it dog cool little island off there in the distance um i can see people getting totally lost in this track right here but anyways appreciate you guys watching all the videos later dudes